Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're keeping it simple and quick. We have an Amaran F22C for a key light in our interview, two Sony A7IVs for our cameras, and then we're booming the mic over. That's it. Simple, compact, and easy to travel with. Let's get into it. So here is our space. We've got to find an interview spot. It's pretty cozy. You know, I like this corner here. These windows, we're going to have to fight because it's very tungsten in here and it's very blue outside. Here's a corner here. We have a TV here. I don't like that. Seems the lights are favoring this left side here and there's no lights over there. So we have a little more control. That may be a good spot over here. I only brought one light today. So see what we could make work. Maybe this will be something we could work with, kind of work this corner in at the fireplace and whatnot. So we'll see what we can get. So this is the space we're working with. I didn't like the spot where the fireplace was. It was too dark over there and I only have one light. So I've got to really push what, I what I'm working with. These bulbs lean towards a little more of a cool color so this one and this one so i'm going to play off of these kind of motivate this lamp a little and kind of work into this little space and zone um, <clears throat> ideally i'd you know pull everything back get great background separation and really you know work the space but honestly guys here it is it's 1248 see if we could get you to see that 1248 I've got to be set up in 30 minutes ready to go all right I'm gonna get tripods in I'm using photo tripods because these guys here this is a Manfrotto 190 um, it packs down really small and then I have a geared head they pack down small and I'm not gonna be doing any like panning movements or anything like that so these end up being really nice all right, so I have a 50 mil as my wide shot. That looks good. And this dental practice actually has coffee mugs with their name on it. So I could just stick a coffee mug in the shot. I'm gonna take this out. We gotta do art design when we're shooting this kind of stuff. So it's part of the process. But I am honestly really liking this frame. Make sure that's nice and straight. Yeah, I'm loving this. This is really cool. Okay, so this frame is looking nice. I'm just gonna have to make sure I can motivate the light and make it look really good in this space. So the next one is the tight shot. So now I'm formatting the cards. Make sure everything is nice and clear. Matching settings on both cameras. I didn't have an opportunity because I was just at a shoot yesterday to actually go through and prep these cameras. So I'm having to do that right now, which is fine. So everyone recommended me to go a lot smaller, a lot lighter. So I've got this stand here. It's an Avenger stand, collapses, lightweight. And then the Amaran F22C. So that's the setup for lighting that we're going with. And that's it. If we can't get it with that, we're not getting it. So, gotta keep it small, simple, lightweight. So trying to go compact and small, I took my truck this time for this gig and not the van. It's hard to be used to having all that extra space to do things and have stuff stored away and always have it with you. So sometimes something could be missed. So I, I was missing one knuckle. So I had to make something work for my boom. And then I have a knuckle now for this F22. The reason I need a knuckle is because I don't, I didn't pack and I don't usually carry the uh, actual um, bracket that holds or the elbow that holds the F22 in place because I usually use gobos. So lesson learned that was forgotten, but You've got to improvise real quick and figure something out because there's no time. So that ate up about five minutes of my time trying to figure out a solution. 
But here we are, ready to go. Pop this guy in. And now I'm gonna get a white sheet of paper. Right here and see what I'm getting color wise here. So I'm gonna open up my phone. I'm gonna pull out like my pocket light meter app. And I'm gonna give it a try and see what kind of reading getting it's showing 4k yeah 4k so let's fire this guy up <clears throat> let's see if it matches It matches we're good so I just matched up the light I have it set to 43 with the diffusion and just whatever is causing it so that's what I have it set up at here's the setup we have a 50 mil 1.2 G master set to f2 and then we have a 85 G set to 2.5 and then we have the F22C the Amaran which is motivating that lamp we have a Sennheiser 416 for our boom I had to rig up a clamp because my cradle because I was short a gobo head we just have two stands one two two cameras tiny kit and actually you could travel with this kit very easily you could probably get a little bit more compact stands and then I have two sandbags that's everything making it small making it simple and we'll see if you like the results guys now I did fib a little bit because I did say this was a one light setup but as you can see we actually have the lamp helping as well we have the lamp in the shot and we're motivating it with the F22C to kind of give us some more spread and give a good look. We have it brought into the very edge of the frame so we can make it as soft as possible. I feel it has a very natural look. Now with the false color, the Atomos false color, you can see how the light is hitting the subjects and what kind of exposure we're getting. One thing to pay attention to is varying skin tones will give you different readings, but they still look great. Here you can see a darker complexion but we still have a great exposure on the subject. Overall, I'm really happy with this look. What is your go-to light for a single light setup and how would you have done this differently? Let me know down in the comments. I appreciate every single one of you and I'll see you on the next one.